Hi, this is Mark Cook for AvWeb at Sun and Fun 2019. You know, when most people bring their small aircraft across from California to Florida, they need at least one stop, sometimes many more, and sometimes it takes a few days. Not the case for the Sling TSI behind me. Hi, Mark. Um, great to be at Sun and Fun. As always, excitement starting. Um, we flew the lovely TSI here. As you know by now, um, we made it in one hop from LA. It was an idea to, to uh, take the, the TSI and, and see really what it can do. And again, it surpassed our expectations. We took off in Torrance. We had an extra 30 gallons on the back seat. We've got the long range tanks. And our standard tanks in the aircraft long range being 67 gallons. So we had an extra 30 on the back seat with a transfer system and that gave us uh, 97 gallons. We landed here with eight gallons. So you can do the math that it's about six and a half gallons uh, in, on average per hour, and which is phenomenal. You know, we, were, we took off from Torrance, we climbed to 17 and a half thousand feet. We set a, a, a cruise climb of about 300 feet and we were doing that at economy setting 110 to 120 knots. We got up there quickly, got the oxygen sorted out and um, everything was looking good. We had a range, we would have been able to go to the Bahamas and of course we made these jokes as we were flying but we'd have to stop at sudden fun on the way. And uh, we got to New Orleans, there was the usual big front over there. We tried to get through at altitude but it just wasn't the responsible thing to do so we descended uh, through some holes in the cloud, we always had a visual uh, contact with the ground. So while we did still have that, we got through low level and then anyone that was following the trip would see that we spent um, the crossing over the gulf below a thousand feet. We had to manage our fuel carefully and of course the sling is just an amazing aeroplane with a 915 engine which is an incredible engine. Um, we were doing a kind of 100 knots into the headwind down there, managing our fuel very carefully, burning between 4.2, 4.5 gallons an hour. And um, again, surpassed our expectations. We, we landed in, uh, after all the squalls across the, the Gulf, we landed in um, uh, at, at Tampa Executive late at night with uh, Eight, eight gallons of fuel, which you know that burn rate was nearly nearly two hours, a hour, good hour and a half still to go. It, it, the low consumption rate in this aeroplane, your operating costs are, I think, unmatched. And um, I would I would fly a machine. Well, we did fly this machine low level over the um, <clears throat> Gulf, which you know says something for what we we believe in the reliability of the engine, the installation, the airframe, the efficiency of the airframe. Just blows me away every time I fly and I've flown a lot of hours in the Sling products and um, you know again this just proved it at altitude she worked low level she was great you know we, we've got a, a machine here that Mike, Mike has created that I I've had a, I have a biased opinion but show me another four seater that, that's designed like this and they can do this you know that can fit big people in and carry its load with no problem at all at altitude, you know, it's a terrible machine.